Hello everyone, this is Mansi Kane and I'm here to present a topic from Artificial Intelligence that is Predicates in Prologue Programming. This assignment is guided under Mr. Sunny Ragbar sir. This is the index. What is Prologue? Facts and Rules in Prologue. What are Predicates in Prologue? What are the examples of Prologue? And what are the types of Prologue? The first question which arises is what is Prologue? Prologue stands for Programming in Logic. This means that Prolog is a logic language, not an algorithmic language. This states that a program consists of data based on facts and rules rather than computing how to find a solution. The facts and rules are built and determined by logical relationships. These relationships describe the relationship which holds for the given application. This is a simple Prolog program which can be read as Socrates is a man and the second line can be read as x is mortal if x is a man. The symbol that you can see is used to define the if statement. The second line is a clause or a rule. Then we have facts in prologue. Prologue has facts. Facts are statements that describe objects, properties or relationships between those objects. A prologue fact is defined as relation object 1, object 2, till object n. It can have any number of objects. This is a simple example of facts in prolog. Then we have rules. Rules are specified in the following form. Head, then if, and the number of cases, wherein k is always greater than equals to 1. This depends on case to case. This can be read as that a rule will be read, a rule will be read as if if t1, t2, t3 till tk are all true, then only head is true. The head here specifies the fact. Now the main topic for today's discussion that is predicates. What are predicates? In logic, the name of the symbolic relation is a predicate. Predicates are much similar to the functions in our programming languages, but they are way different in functioning. A, a program or database in Prolog consists of one or more predicates. Each predicate consists of one or more clauses. A clause is a base clause if it is unconditionally true. What is unconditionally true? That is, it has no if part for the program statement. This is a simple syntax for defining a predicate. The name of relation is a functor. The name of relation that is the name of our predicate. Then we have the objects, object 1, object 2, object n involved in the relation are the arguments and the number n of the arguments is, do, is, is called the arity. Arity is denoted by p slash n. p stands for the name of the predicate and n the number of arguments it can accept. This is a simple example of predicate. Before that, two clauses belong to the same predicate if they have same functor or the same name and the same arity, that is the number of arguments are also same. Then they belong to the same predicate. That is like for example, a mother, Jane and mother Jane comma Jim. These are the same name predicates, but they have different number of arguments. So they belong to different predicates. You define predicates by listing down the clauses that state what is true and what follows from what. Here are simple examples of predicates. Color 1 defined by facts as color red, color yellow, color green. These can be read as red is a color, yellow is a color, green is a color. There is another example with more than two arguments or arity that can be defined as three color x, y, z, which holds when color x, color y, color z. This can be read as three colors x, y, z holds true only and only if x is a color, y is a color and z is a color. Then we have types of predicates. There are predefined predicates and there are predicates which we can define as a user. These are called Built-in predicates, the predefined predicates are known as built-in predicates or the built-ins. Prolog has a large number of built-in predicates. 
we can write our own predicates with the help of these predefined built-in predicates. These are the examples for built-in predicates that must be present in your prolog library. True slash zero, which is always true. False slash zero, which is always false. Read x, which means read one clause from the current input and unify it with x. Then we have another write x predicate, which means write the sig single value of x to the current output file. These were some of the examples of built-in predicates. These allow to update our a uh, update a database or a program. Then we have dynamic or static predicates. A major difference between prolog implementation is whether the system interprets the program or compiles it. This means prolog either can be interpreted or can be compiled. Roughly, an interpreter does not change the format of rules and facts to run them. A compiler translates the clauses into machine dependent code or into one more, one or more uh, efficient instructions. Compiling occurs once at load time and the resulting code is no longer modifiable during the execution. Now to run the prolog in uh, to run a program nicely and efficiently and properly, the prolog engine must be told which predicates are alterable at the runtime. The alterable ones are called the dynamic predicates and the ones which will remain unchanged are known as static predicates. Prolog compiles static predicates and runs dynamic predicates using an interpreter. Predicates are static by default. To make them dynamic, a dynamic derivative needs to be added before the predicate definition or it can be entirely created by assertions at the runtime. The directive specifying that a predicate is dynamic precedes all its clauses, if any. For example, the program given below holds dynamic parent2 mail1 and n number of lines of codes which declares that parent2 and mail1 clauses may be added and removed at runtime because the dynamic keyword is added before its definition. This, with this, we come to the end of today's presentation. These are the reference links which I have used to create this presentation. Thank you so much.